this play is the result of what some might categorise as an excessive amount of research as it was inspired by my PhD thesis. I wrote my PhD on theatrical responses to the AIDS crisis which meant reading the dozens and dozens of plays written about the crisis but also dozens more stories, chapters in history, information, facts and figures and yes having a PhD about a pandemic is a little bit awkward right now. But about halfway through writing my PhD I figured that actually watching a play about this would be much more interesting than what I actually got which was this lightweight tone. Snappy reading. So after I finished I began work on this play, the result of which is a contemporary HIV story that's hopefully infused with that sense of history and the chapter in the LGBTQ community's history that is so vital and important. Again, it's been really interesting to revisit that while we're all held hostage, essentially, by another virus and transposing it into the digital world has thankfully been really easy and really interesting to play with the way these characters are all looking for connection in a strange new world where connection is exactly what we're lacking. In the play though, Danny, who heads up the support group that our central character Will attends, talks about the years he spent in a drafty church hall sharing stories with people. And as we rehearse it and think about the future of the play, I just keep thinking, I can't wait to be back in that drafty church hall or drafty pub theatre sharing those stories again. So fingers crossed one day, this is chapter one of six of the six month journey the characters go on. Hopefully one day we'll see the other five chapters in the flesh, not on Zoom.